You think when it comes to success, like getting there, making it, achieving it, the way that you see somebody that's achieved it now, however you define that, and you look at them and you think, oh my God, they're amazing. You think you're gonna think the same thing about yourself, and you won't. The thing that you'll resent isn't whether or not you make it. The thing that you'll resent is, now that you know you can, will you actually try? Trying is what you're gonna judge yourself on. Your family won't weep for you if you don't succeed. Two things will happen on your deathbed if you fail. You really went for something and you failed. One, they will all mourn that you weren't able to live your life because you were so myopically focused on the goal that you forgot to enjoy the journey and somewhere along the way you stopped loving. You stopped loving them, you stopped loving yourself because all you could see was succeeding, getting that thing, the tick on the paper box, and you lost your way. That's possibility number one. Possibility number two is they're like, hey, this tried, and it was inspiring. And just to see them go day after day after day in the face of so much defeat, but to have the will and determination to keep going, Winston Churchill said, and I quote, success is going from failure to failure to failure without a loss of enthusiasm. It doesn't matter if you win, that's not success. The success is going from the failure to the failure to the failure and still being excited to show up. It's like, this is how I liken success. Success is like love. You know the beautiful part about love? Getting the sh kicked out of you and then coming back for more. That's so hopeful. That's so optimistic to be like, whoa, I just had my ass handed to me. And yet I want to be vulnerable again. I want to go through this again. I want to open myself up to this. I want to be touched by that. I want to feel that. But people can get behind that, man. We can get excited about that. We want to be friends with people like that. We want to feel that in our own lives, that willingness to, to have tasted defeat and still come in open and not jaded. How beautiful is that? You know, I believe that self-love is very important. You know, I'm always talking about loving oneself. I never trust anybody who tells me he or she loves me if the person doesn't love herself or himself. So I like to look at self-love. It is very important that it comes from within, that you have a sense of yourself, so that when you walk into an office, you don't go alone. Bring your people with you. Bring everybody who has loved you. Life is always happening for you, not to you. If you believe it's happening to you, of course it is. You, know, you look for what's wrong, what's wrong is always available. But if you train yourself to look for what's right and you find it, you won't be the person sitting on the curb crying or feeling sorry or... You'll be like, I'm gonna crush it and I'm gonna find the good in this. It's not good on the surface, but it becomes good when you do something with it. Many people in this world that are wanting, waiting, saying, asking, begging, hoping, will someone help me cross? We all have the power to be a point of light. Head down endurance. And that'll get you through bad times, that endurance. It's, it's, it's such an underrepresented virtue, that ability to trudge forward under a unfairly burdensome load is a testament to character if you can and then it's something that should be encouraged and valued i meant to encourage and i would i would like to say something else about that finding courage in the leaders and in you who will become leaders uh, courage is the most impo important of all the virtues because without courage, you can't practice any other virtue consistently.
consistency. You can't be consistently kind or fair or humane or generous. Not without courage, because if you don't have it, sooner or later you'll stop and say, ah, the threat is too much, the, the difficulty is too, too high, the, the challenge is, is too great. When you are able to align who you are, who you've become in the world, with really what you've come to do in the world, when your personality serves the soul. The more you allow your pain to render you inactive, the worse the outcome, including exacerbation of the pain. And depression is a pain disorder, and so that's very much worth thinking about too. It's like, move forward, move forward, move forward. It's like one bloody foot in front of the other, up the hill. <laughs> <laughs>